The only thing that scientists and astronomers were most afraid of was confirmation with the help of the James Webb Telescope that we are wrong about the theory of the birth of the universe. We may have to give up everything we know about the origin of our universe. The theory of how our universe came into being has been one of the hot topics between physicists and astronomers, but the recent discovery of the James Webb Telescope has thrown everyone into shock. It has been proven that all this is wrong. This discovery has to do with the existence of time in our universe, and no one was ready for the discovery caused by JWST. This powerful telescope revealed information about time and its existence. Indeed, the telescope managed to prove that time does not exist, and with it many laws of physics. I am glad to see you on the Space Stop channel. And in this video, we will talk about the latest discovery of the Webb Telescope. Before the start of the video, I have a huge request to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support and try to be the first to notify you about the most interesting news in the world of space. Well, make yourself comfortable. I wish you a pleasant viewing. The James Webb Telescope has shocked the entire space industry by proving that time does not exist. The Big Bang Theory which notes that the universe has been expanding since its inception more than 14 billion years ago in a hot and dense state, has been refuted by some recent images from new James taken by the Webb Space Telescope. Any experienced cosmologist or astronomer who saw these awe-inspiring images would undoubtedly admire them. When this image was analyzed using JWST, several technical astronomical articles were published on the internet. The authors of these articles mostly reported that the photographs depicted several galaxies, some of which were surprisingly small, smooth and extremely shocking. Another reason why these images from JWST caused panic among experts was that the photos consistently contradicted the Big Bang Theory. Since several scientists have defended this hypothesis as true for decades, the new dart are puzzling these experts. Because all astronomers are concerned that the Big Bang Theory suddenly turns out to be wrong. This event is alarming to many scientists. One of them is Alison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer from the University of Kansas at Lawrence. She said that right now I'm lying awake at 3 in the morning and wondering if I did everything right and how difficult it is to explain why they are too smooth, too old, too small and too numerous galaxies incompatible with the Big Bang Theory in expanding space. Galaxies and other objects should not appear smaller with increasing distance. Instead, after a certain moment, they seem bigger because their light should disappear. When they approach us, it is in stark contrast to the non-expanding ordinary space, where objects appear tiny compared to their distance, but in the case of JWST, Objects were visible in the images. Even galaxies with more disorder and brightness than our own Milky Way galaxy look two times smaller in the NJWST image three times smaller than in the other's images taken by Hubble. The Space Telescope also found that the new galaxies appear to have redshifts that were also two to three times larger. These listed facts have nothing to do with the expanding universe, contradicting everything. Based on the Big Bang hypothesis of your expanding universe, these distant galaxies must be tiny to compensate for the theoretical optical illusion of an incredibly small galaxy in space. There is also a galaxy called GHC2, which is usually always brighter than our Milky Way, but when it was analyzed, it turned out that its radius is only 300 light years, which is 50 times less than the radius of the Milky Way. Even on its surface, the brightness would be 600 times greater than that of the brightest galaxy known as. The density of the galaxy and even those other galaxies in the new images presented by JWST would be tens of thousands of times greater than that of modern galaxies. Tiny and smooth galaxies mean that there is no expansion. In a nutshell, it means that there was no Big Bang. The James Webb Telescope has worsened the situation. Theorists have suggested that tiny galaxies can grow the size of modern galaxies, collide, become more spread. An analogy to this hypothetical process C could be an image of a centimeter-long toy car that weighs as much as an SUV and turns into a real SUV when colliding with many other toy cars. 
Proponents of the Big Bang Theory expected to see highly distorted galaxies, but they saw the necessary spiral shapes and very smooth disks, as we see in modern galaxies. So, in fact, the dot obtained ultimately destroyed the theory of fusion. With a small number of mergers or without them at all, tiny galaxies could not turn into large ones in any way. Therefore, initially they were not small, and as a result, the optical illusion from the theory of the expanding universe is incorrect. Because there is no illusion, this means that there is no expansion. Because the illusion is a predetermined forecast of expansion, tiny and smooth galaxies do not suggest any expansion. This means that there was no Big Bang, and to old age and too many galaxies mean the same thing. Since the James Webb Telescope uses several filters to obtain images in the infrared part of the spectrum, this allows astronomers and scientists to estimate the age of stars in these galaxies because young hot stars are blue and older, colder stars, such as our sun, are yellow or red. Stellar populations over a billion years old have been found in galaxies. Since none of this could have happened before the Big Bang, the existence of these galaxies demonstrates that there was no Big Bang. And similarly, there should be no galaxies older than the Big Bang. If the Big Bang theories are correct, theorists expected that since the time of James, the Webb telescope has looked deep into space. And in the past, there would have been fewer of them. After all, there is no dark age in space, but another paper demonstrated that Milky Way-sized galaxies were commonplace even a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. In addition, the authors noted that the new images show at least a hundred thousand times more galaxies than the theorists predicted at redshifts. It is impossible that so many large galaxies could form in such a short time. So again there was no Big Bang, according to one theory. It doesn't really exist. It's nothing more than a human construct that helps us determine the difference between the present moment and the perception of the past tense. In fact, it is an illusion consisting of human memories and everything that has ever happened and will happen right now. According to a group of respected scientists who seek to unravel one of the mysteries of the universe, that is, a theory that many people do not think about, time. But there is nothing in the laws of physics that would indicate that it should move in a straight direction, which, as we know, is proportional to the laws of physics. This means that time can easily move in the opposite direction as it moves forward. In fact, some provisions of the theory of the Great Compression of the One claim that when the universe stops expanding and begins to shrink back into itself, time will also go backwards, just as the universe becomes smaller it becomes hotter. One way to think of it is as the opposite of the Big Bang. Instead of cooling and expanding, the universe will heat up and contract. Eventually, everything in the universe will shrink into a tiny dot right where it all started. Some people believe that the universe can start anew with the Big Bang, while others suggest that the universe will explode like a soap bubble in a new place. Some even believe that this process is repeated repeatedly resulting in many other universes, and this dilemma arises. In the end, scientists came to the conclusion that time is just a human construct. They say there is a part of the universe where space and time are equal. The past has already happened, but the future does not exist yet, and everything is changing. What we think of as the past is an illusion formed in our brain. Going back to Albert Einstein and his wonderful theory about space-time, this theory has caused some confusion in physics, and scientists are now thinking about it. Einstein considered gravity as a result of the curvature of space. He suggested that all objects in the universe are in a smoother four-dimensional structure called spacetime. According to Einstein's theory, spacetime is curved by matter and energy. Nevertheless, quantum physics asserts that matter and energy exist in many states at the same time. They can be both here and there. No one has an answer to the question of where the gravitational field is located. It's a bit confusing, and if you try to use general relativity and quantum theory together, it won't work above a certain energy. You will get more probabilities than one. One is the maximum possible probability. Infinity has no real physical meaning. Hence, these two theories are mathematically incompatible. 
Scientists claim that space-time consists of a series of intertwined loops that have a structure on the smallest scale. At first glance, it looks like one smooth fabric. But if you look closely, you will see that it is made of a mesh of stitches or alternatively. Imagine it as a photo on a computer screen. Zoom in and you will see that it consists of individual pixels. The problem is that when LQG physicists say small, they mean small. These defects in space-time would be noticeable only at the level of the Planck scale, which is about a trillionth of a minute. A trillionth of a meter is so small that there may be more loops in a cubic centimeter of space than there are cubic centimeters in the entire observable universe. If space-time differs only in scale, then it would be difficult to test it in any particle accelerator. We would need an atom a thousand trillion times more powerful, about as big as our entire Milky Way galaxy. However, a team of physicists from the UK, France and Hong Kong may soon have another way to test this idea. They hope to use a super cold gas of several billion cesium atoms existing in a state known as Bose-Einstein condensate. If gravity is, after all, really quantum, then in the meantime the universe itself provides another way to search for tiny defects in space-time. The light that penetrates here from the most remote corners of the universe has traveled billions of light-years of space-time along the way, while the effect of each space-time defect would be temporary. Tiny interactions with multiple defects can lead to a potentially observable effect at these distances. To make progress, we may have to go a step further than just saying that space-time is not the smooth continuous fabric proposed by Einstein. According to the theory, Einstein's space-time is like a stage that stays in place when actors walk on its boards. Even if the stars or planets weren't dancing around space-time, however, they would still be there. George Ermanick, a well-known physicist, believes that this picture holds us back. They believe that space-time does not exist independently of the objects in it. Instead, space-time is defined. The appeal of this modular theory of space-time is that it can help solve other problems of theoretical physics concerning the so-called locality and the infamous phenomenon in quantum physics. All of this can profoundly affect our daily lives. Being in space, we travel through time, and if something changes in our understanding of space-time, it will affect not only our understanding of gravity, but also quantum theory in general. All our current devices work only thanks to quantum theory, so if we better understand the quantum structure of space-time, it will affect the future. We will literally be transported several centuries ahead at once. I was glad to see you on my channel. If you have watched up to this point, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Well. I'm not saying goodbye to you, see you in the new video.